Now we won't. Now we won't have slip ups like that again. Drivers to your cars. I just need to show you a quick view of the entry list. All right. Drivers. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Tire different driver seems to be having a problem. Saint Smith with a tire problem. It's not good. Zane Smith almost gave GMS a 1-2-3 finish in the Craftsman Winter Classic on Monday. Now here competing in the Xfinity Winter Classic. Almost a few other drivers who just got done with the Sprint Winter Classic yesterday. As a feel now in the go. hands of Brandon Jones, Noah Gregson, green flag in the air. Time for the Xfinity Winter Classic. All 42 drivers were able to make it across the strike, make it across the strike to start the race. Yep. Austin Sindrick trying to go for a dive bomb on two drivers. 2020 at NASCAR Fantasy Series champion right there. Yep. Now on his outside is Noah Gregson. Noah uh, Gregson, who will be contending, will be. Just scared the hell out of me. And now Gregson, who will be contending for 2023 NASCAR Cup Rookie of the Year. Mm hmm. During the 42 for Petty GMS. Ooh, he slipped up just a bit there. Got a lot of news from various people in this field. Brandon Jones making a move to Junior Motorsports next season. AJ Allmendinger making, making his first full time Cup season since 2018 for JPD Doherty. This time he'll be running colleagues, second full-time member. There you see Allgaier, he'll be once again returning to JR Motorsports in 2023. Alongside Josh Berry. Not many of this going out for this part. Jeb Burton not returning to our Motorsports. In fact, our Motorsports, rumored right now, might not be returning. Seems like they have been financially struggling mm -hmm. um, as they lost one of their full time drivers in Brett Moffitt in the and middle of the year. Of, and speaking of full time drivers, Kaz Mrala will be making his first full time season in any of the three national touring series uh, since uh, ever since I believe 2017 in a truck series. We'll be driving for Sam Hunt Racing full time next year in the 26th. And he'll be teammates of Connor Mosak, and Mosak will be joining for 20 races in the 24 Toyota. Another full timer. Once again, will be Ryan Priest. He'll be driving full time in the 41 for Stuart Haas Racing in the Cup Series. Sammy Smith will go full time in JGR in the current number he's driving in the today in the Xfinity Winter Classic in that 18. He's also, he's also a two time ARCA E Series champion in 2021 and 2022. Much go like back up. Sam Mayer and a couple others. As we go back up front, Austin Cindric has now taken the has now taken the lead. No Gregson has fallen back to fourth. Yeah, Rick Brack has last he not having a good start. Ryan Vargas, news he with the news of him leaving JD Motorsports. That number six will be piloted by Brennan Poole next season. And I believe Will this be his first ever full-time Xfinity season? Uh, for Poole? Yeah. At least since 2017, he drove for Chip Ganassi. Yeah. I completely forgot about Ganassi. Best time at Ganassi. And there you see the 34 of Jesse Wuji, current, or and owner for Jesse Wuji Motorsports. And it's been highly rumored for about a month now that they are looking to expand to two full-time cars. Kyle Lerman being one of the full-time drivers. Okay. Mike Harmon, there in that 74. Mike Harmon Racing will be coming back on a part-time schedule next season. 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to be with one or two cards. Tyler Reddick. Uh, what was supposed to be a move made in move made after the 2023 season will now be made for the 2023 season. He'll be going full time in the 45 for 2311 racing in the Cup Series next season. Hefner after yep. her early retirement that was announced in August or October. Shit. The 48 being driven by Austin Dillon in this classic will be driven full time by Parker Kliegerman next year. Which, speaking of, I'm pretty sure he's in this field somewhere. Yep, there he is. And the Emerlin Gase 35, one of two full time cars that Emerlin Gase will have next season, the other being the 53, which is not in this race. All these, all the beasts, probably all the beasts are, uh, except for the other return. Oh, yeah. Nope. Not yet. Brandon Brown will not be returning to Brandonville Motorsports next season. After. I'm pretty sure y'all are. Yeah. That's all guys yeah. now up to second. Speaking of the 68, there is currently no driver linked to the 68 so far, although it might be Chris Wright, but I haven't heard anything. From the team yet. Yep. As of, as of how it has started last year, Chris Wright went into the 68 for, I believe, what was it, the f 9 out of the final 12 races? Yep. Yep. And what interluded with that was, was Chris Wright getting the boot from Nice Motorsports. So, yeah, his future plans are now have not been made public yet. As Brandon Jones trying to get past the seven of all guy for a second. As of right now, it seems that this top ten has slightly mostly stayed the same. Mm -hmm. um, a little ways in the back is Sage Karam. Uh, he's already announced that he'll do at least half the season for Alpha Prime Racing. I don't remember having Sage Karam in this field. That's Retzloff. Oh, I think I saw Sage here. I'm like in the back, but oh well. Anyways, Anthony Alfredo, future future plans for him have not been released yet. Bailey Curry, already known, he's returning to JD Motorsports. Mm -hmm. Roger Caruso okay. will also be returning on a part time. No, not him. Or is he? He'll be going to the 24 for, yeah, for GMS. GMS and truck. And there's a 31. Oh, I do have Sage Karam in this field. I'm oh, forgetting. I thought I put Myatt Snyder in the 31. I guess I didn't. But uh, plans for Jordan Anderson Racing 23-3 for both the Xfinity program and the truck program have not been confirmed yet. Ooh. A little bit tight there from no, but having uh, Austin. Having confirmed... Zane Smith will be making a couple of ex will be making a couple to a few Xfinity starts next season. Along well, with an attempt in the Daytona 500 for Front Row Motorsports. Mm -hmm. The number has still yet to have been confirmed, but usually Front Row waits until like almost the start of the next season. Yeah, it'll probably be either 35 or 36. Mm -hmm. I feel starting to spread out some more. Other than that, that has kept the. Uh, up to date. There you see the one of Michael on Nets. Which will be drawn by Sam Mayer. Here's a zero Jeffrey Earnhardt. Jeffrey Earnhardt's plans, I'm pretty sure as of right now, have not been confirmed as of yet. However, in terms of the zero, that will be returning. Mm -hmm. Although the jar is not announced yet, Johnny Davis did say that he wants to have three full time cars. Mm hmm. Right back up. Battlefield lead has been between these three drivers for the past few laps. Austin Sendrick, Brandon Jones, and Justin Allgaier. <clears throat> I don't know how this is happening, but Woozy's holding off a cup driver. Wow. 
Kozlowski's just struggling to get around him. He's been... He's been... Kozlowski's been last for a while. Yeah, and despite having tire problems, Zane Smith's still holding on to 34th. And those tire problems occurred at the start of the race. And as of that moment, he has now entered lap 20. No, not yet. He's still on lap... No, he's now on lap 19. Alright. Alright, folks. Sorry, folks. We just got off from recording the Sprint Winter Classic. Nice. And the chaotic finish that. Gregson is going to try to find a gap to go to the inside of his teammate. Battle for 7th now between Almondinger and Brandon Brown. Holding was up there contending for the lead a little bit. He has lost a few positions. I think this is the lowest in the field he's been right now. Now we're keeping the top end. And net now. Cut up to his teammate in this race. As we are now heading closer and closer to that pit window. Now we have seen the stuff that has happened. We have that problem fixed. It turns out Cautions was off, which we did not intend for that to happen. Now we got a battle for third now. As Grex was able to get to the inside of Allgaier, but I don't know if it's a... Well, they're still set by side. Harrison Burton able to get away from the 98. Side by side down the back stretch. And they were able to keep it side by side for a whole lap. How about that? Wow. Two really competitive drivers. Yeah. Yeah. I do have quite a few champions in this champions in this field. Yeah, one currently leading right now, as mentioned earlier, the 2020 Xfinity champion Austin Sinjak. And then you got, uh, where's, well, so we have Martin Truex Jr., the 2017 Cup Champion, we have no, two-time ARCA East Champion, Sammy Smith, also Truex has won the, the Xfinity title in 2004 and 2005, we got the 2020 Truck Series Champion, Sheldon Creed, the 2018 and 2019 Xfinity Champion, Tyler Reddick. 2022 Truck Series Champion, Zane Smith. We have the 2018 Daytona 500 winner and 2013 Asterix Series Champion. Austin Dillon. And running last, the 2010 Xfinity Champion and 2012 Cup Champion, Brad Keselowski. So we got... As much we already got, we got a few champions being shown here today in this field. Yep. Most recent of them being, as mentioned already, Zane Smith with the 2020. Well, two of them actually, Sammy Smith and Zane, Zane Smith, winning the Arca, winning the Arca East and Truck Series titles respectively this year. Mm-hmm. I was going without saying Austin Sindrick has also won the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Rookie of the Year. After his win at the Daytona 500, lock, immediately locking him into the playoffs. As now Kislowski is getting by the 34. Another spot for him. It's going to be wild though until he catches up to the 78 of back in Norway, oh God. Back to the front of the field again. Sinjak has been able to create was able to create a big gap between him and the seven. Almondinger still seventh. 
Getting closer and closer to that pit window. Is that so this what? time where Sinjo decides, is he going to stay out or is he going to go in? Because it looks like they're about running two seconds slower than what they were in qualifying. Mm -hmm. Last lap was a 31.191. We're going to lap of 28.9. He ran a lap of... 28.979 in qualifying. And it could be. Since we're still staying out as we hit laps 30. And this is when drivers usually start heading down pit road. Michael Nett now trying to enter the top 10. Side by side with Josh Perry, and he clears him. Allgaier closing in slowly on the 22. It will be this time by... No, he will still... Cedric still stay now. Yeah, it looks like everybody's still staying out. Allgaier still closing in. Slowly but surely. About to run there, come on. It looks like wasn't able to enough, and he is now there almost right on the bumper of the 22. Is Gregson now going for third? Have we had people come down pit road yet? No. Nope. What are the light signals for pit road again? I forgot. What? Like this light signals for pit road. Red, red means it's closed, green means it's open, right? Yes. Alright, so pit road is now currently open. No taker so far. Algar tries to go to the inside. He's gonna try and squeeze it in there. He does. None of the top five is going to go in. Nobody in the top ten. Nobody in the top fifteen. It looks like everybody's still going to try and stay out. If I stretch this first run. Gotta try to make it just one pit stop, perhaps. Yep. As... Oh, Gregson's about to make the three-wide battle for the lead. You know, Brandon Jones, time to catch up. How we go this time? Hi. Yeah, they're gonna try and stretch it. Just make it like try to make this a one pit stop race. If that were the case, it would probably have to go to lap forty ish or forty forty five. That way they can officially make it just one pit stop in a race. Yeah, but it could be around that time where we could start seeing like you. Because it's still early in the race, but we can still see like tire and fuel problems. And here comes Allgaier. First taker. Almondinger is going to come down pit road. Burton stays out. Here comes Earnhardt and Graf. Kliegerman comes in. David Starr is coming in. Mason Massey has been riding the inside. He, not Mason Massey, Preston Bartis. Bartis comes in. Sage Karen comes in. Comes in. Oh, barely. Oh. Wow. We gotta look back at that. We gotta take a look at it. Yeah, that's gotta be a penalty. Yeah, it's definitely a penalty. <laughs> Here comes the rest of the drivers. I mean, we still have some drivers staying out. Leo with Clements. Oh, there was the break. Oh. Just Clements is the only one that has stayed out so far. He's probably gonna come in this time by. And. Yep, here he yep. comes. 
Yep, Karen is still down there serving his penalty. That's gonna come down to it's probably gonna be Algar getting the lead. Alright, hold on one second. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Right. Anyways. Yep, Allgaier got Allgaier was able to pass by Sindrick. It's gonna cycle it can cycle back out to him being the leader. Jesse Woods, you might be the first lap car. Yep. Still starting Glennis as the leader. Where is he on the track though? Oh, it My alarm just went off, it just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, there he is. There is Clemens. Yeah, it's gonna cycle back out. All Geyer as the leader. We go Cindric Almendinger. Kislowski's still down there. Because last week the lockdown, so it saves Karam off of serving that penalty. Paul Graham's about to catch Jesse Luigi. Joe Graff Jr. and Jeffrey Earnhardt now both in the top 10. Good wrench for them. Mm hmm. Now we got Oscar Cruz after that, and Akinori Ogata. As Dogger catches up to 34. He was able to pull off a big gap from that. 4.12. Wow. Zongar gets by these 34. We got two lap cars up next. 44 of Peru, 78 of Ogata. Yeah. Still increasing. Zongar almost partially boxed by 78 and 44. Algar puts Ogata another lap down. Four point one six now for Sindrick. I feel spaced out except for this area right here. Oh. Jeffrey Earnhardt almost in the, almost got caught in the wall. Parker Cleveland out to eighth. There's Allgaier. Sindrick has gone back to losing time. Four point three one. All guys slowly getting away. I feel like I fought all my life for this. This one part, this one third, I fought with me. No, just don't let it go. I started the fight, but now I'm losing. So, will I fall again? I'm scared of heights, yet it must be. Something that Sindrick would definitely need right now would be a caution. But just about how separate, how far apart the field is, that could be. 
everywhere for right now. A small feeling that something might happen. And 4.5 see the gap between Allgaier and Sindrick. There's Karam, the last car lap down. After so a nice. little over Shaw's pit box. Or, no, no, uh, pit road shit. Anyways. I've had to serve a penalty. One of five cars left down right now, the others being Karu, between Karu, Uruji, Ogata, and Kozlowski. And all that has been getting that big, yeah, he's coming up to four, the four lap track, four things of lap traffic. Here I'm the only one out of the four that are lapped down right now. The others being Ryan Ellis, CJ McLaughlin, and Mike Harmon. That's another guy we forgot to talk about. Ryan Ellis, he's also coming back part time for Alpha Prime. Uh -huh. Karen running the high side, trying to make sure not to get it into the wall. Yep. There's CJ McLaughlin. Um, besides Ryan C coming back to RSS full time next year, no plan so far uh, for RSS awesome. besides that. No plans for McCoughlin and no plans for the 38 either. For that car. Oh, your contact between the 7 and 99. Now Allgaier's uh, to the inside. Now this Should could play. probably slow Allgaier down a bit. Mm hmm. He's got Oops, four. He's leading with four lap cars right now. Went down by a tenth. 4.4, that's the gap between the 7 and the 22 now. Well, it looks like Harmon's holding up long air a little bit. Oh. I, start, I think some of the dirty air is coming into play. Not a problem for him, though. And cost long air just a bit of time. 4.38. Harmon's still holding up Allgaier. Oh, Allgaier. Now Allgaier finally. gets past him. Often shuts the door on Allgaier. Sensor currently. Dealing with the 44 of Caruth, 4.16 now. And Augur gets by the 38. Now catching up to the 31. Karen is able to shut the door. But Algar is gonna stay behind for right now. It's 4.15, that's the gap now between Algar and Sindrick. Karen's gonna let Algar by. Next. I think Algar will have to deal with the lap cars for a little bit. Yep, but when he does next up, it's going to be the 48 of Austin Dillon. Right now, Algar is cleaner right now. 
it was 4.04. That's the gap now between 7 and 22. We'll go back up. There is Algar's as much. It doesn't have any match up to deal with for right now. There it is 4.19. Went up by almost 0.2. Went up by almost two, two tenths of a second. Still, it's not been a crash. Yeah, we've ran this thing clean. One pit stop so far, which really benefited the seven. Now it looks like Sinjin is starting to fall back a bit. Saint Smith in the eleven, in behind Vargas. Got side by side here with teammates Retzloff and Alfredo. As we are closing, it looks like we're closing in on that second pit window. That's the last pit. But right now, it appears to be that it that there is a green light. It is open again. We go back to the leader. It's caught up to the 48. Dylan. I'm these guys will pin until like lap 65, maybe 70. Yeah, they could try to stretch it for about like between 5 10 laps. Zoggar clearly gets by the 48 of Dylan. It's only the 26 of Brandon Gadovic. in his way. Zoggar had not said. Okay, so Jim has got to caught up to the 99. Almondinger was having to deal with the 44 Project for Bruce right there. Logger right, now closing in on Godovic. Logger's gonna try and see if he can find it for a little bit. As we have reached lap 61. Logger gets by the 26. Sinjik is now caught up to the 99 of Ryan Ellis. Goes slow to cleanly get by the 99. Oh, look, they had a bit of problems there for and I guess flying cleanly. Still no takers. That green light still, still shining brightly on the pit road light. As all guy was able to get by Gadovic, 4.24 is now the gap. Are there any takers? Seems to be not yet. Preston Partis is the next thing of lap traffic that all guy needs to face. Now that pit road is open, all these drivers that are that are currently. Behind Allgaier could use strategy. That is unless Allgaier would be the. F that is unless Allgaier would be the first of a batch to come down pit road, and he might. Nope, he still stays out. Um, Sinjik stays out. Jones passes by Almendinger for third. Still no takers. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention, Josh Williams is now in the top 10, currently running 9th. Zalgaier has caught up to the 91 of Artis. Oh! Look, there, there was about to be contact between the both of them. Oh! So what happened there? Ooh. Oh, there was a bit of a hold up. Oh, Jesus. So, Priest is going to be the first one coming down pit road. Priest wasn't a lap car. Now, now here comes Alka. And the question is Priest came in. Priest entered pit road earlier than Alka. And the question is, is what is he stopping for? 
Here comes Freeze coming out of pit road. Passes by Allgaier. And he gonna successfully get out of pit road. Sammy Smith now coming out, Tyler Reddick. Now, once this cycles through, I was asking the question, is Allgaier gonna be the leader? Because I don't I don't really think he might. He's got out of pit road before him. So it could be Ryan still showing all guy or his third, but it has yet to have cycled out. There's Sammy Smith. Ryan Priest now out there. Gonna try and get ahead of the nine. Right by his side. I don't know how this will play out. I'm pretty sure. Nope, send this back out. Now it's showing all bears. What? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. How is all bears the leader? I had a feeling it could have been Priest. Where the hell is he even at? There he is. That gap now 6.73. Algar stuck behind the two of Sheldon Creed. Could be too early to call it, but I think Algar might have this in the back. Really does. It's been domination by all guy ever since that first pit cycle. And now all gonna try to go around Harrison Burton. Sorry, I thought I thought somebody was coming down pit road. For a second. Looks like there's no... Looks like it's still spaced out. Sindrick right there. 7.2. He's clear. 12 laps to go, Charlotte. All guy are ahead by a big, by over two, by over seven seconds. Over Austin Center. He was able to take this. He was able to take domination of this race ever since that first pit cycle. Third on back is at least 10 seconds behind the leader. Oh! David Starr's Ooh. around! Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, it's out. oh my, that changes everything. Oh, that is not what all guy wanted to see. What a huge crash for David Starr. And right when we were talk right when we were talking about the domination that all guy has been having. Oh. Like my like a Sage Karam just overshot and this time he does not make it on the pit road. Yeah, caution's now out. Quite an impact though. Hopefully David's okay. 
It looks like like I said, so. like I said earlier, that was exactly what Austin Cindric needed. And it looks like JJ Ailey will get the free pass. Yeah. Are, they, are they saying out? They're all saying out. And tough break for. At the time of so caution, Alfredo. Alfredo was the last driver on the lead lap. A tough break for the driver from Texas. Who is now oh. out? You'll have 26 cars on the lead lap. And go back to green. And there's why the wreck happened. There was a Ooh. fuel system. There was a fuel system failure for the. Oh wait. Hmm. So what do, you, what do you think? You think uh, Cinder got a chance here? Well, now that everybody's gonna be back together, that's gonna bring the battle for the. That's gonna make the battle for the lead a lot more entertaining. Now here it comes. This is going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a while for them to sort out. Oh, boy. Alright. Here we go. All guy on the inside, Cedric on the outside. As the rest of the field starts catching up. Ooh. Contact went back to Brad. Green play is out. And Cedric with the run of his life! Wow. Cedric's clear. That caution was exactly what he needed. Not what Allgaier needed, for sure. As Yaley's now back on the lead lap. He just got 11 lap. He just got 11 positions from that. Wow. Was it off of his positioning on how he was in the restart? I think, because I think it was. Other than that, we approach five to go with Cindric as the leader. Although Augier is catching back up to him. I would have bunched up in that. the back. Current top five goes as follows Austin Cindric, Justin Augier, AJ Allmendinger. Michael Lynette, Brandon Jones, Jeremy Clemens, Noah Gregson, then it goes Brandon Brown, Martin Truex Jr., and Josh Berry. Wow. As we're in... Now at four laps to go here at Charlotte. What can Allgaier do here? He thought he had... He thought he had this race in the bag up until that very moment. He had it in the back right there. It was a seven-second dominating lead ahead of Austin Cindric that that came to ruins after a failed pit road entry by David Starr. Mm -hmm. Three laps to go here at Charlotte. Battle for third now. Michael Lynette, AJ Allmendinger. Well, it looks like Dinger's going to get the run. Oh, but Brandon oh, Jones that. was on the inside right behind the net. That's the field, no. Still keeping it clean. As we have now hit two laps to go. All guys still trying to find find some way to get ahead of the 22. As the net goes up to third. Jones to fourth, and then Columbus to fifth. Oh, jeez! Haruk just got a run there. Mm-hmm. Almondinger 
falling outside of the top five. As here we go. One more time around here from Charlotte. The white flag is in the air for the 22 and the 7. Allgaier has one more shot. After that first pit cycle, it looks like he was going to come out as the winner for the Xfinity Winter Classic. Down the back starts one last time. Can Allgaier make a final move? No, he doesn't. He stays behind him. Allgaier thought he corner. had it. But off of turn four, in the end of all of it, Austin Sindrick is going to win the 2022 Xfinity Winter Classic. Simply incredible. I told you. I, and I and y'all heard from me here first, fo folks. Sindri all that Sindrick needed was a caution. Oh my gosh. <laughs> After Allgaier led the majority of the race. After that first pick and cycle, David Starr with the fuel system already already damaged. Pointing that out too. Ooh. Oh Brian Priest. Wow. Oh no. Yeah, it's crazy turn. Probably too late for those lights to come on, folks. Probably what all guy wanted, like for that re, other re, like those you know, last couple laps, but yeah, yeah. Joe Graf Jr. ending the race tenth. Dude, that's the second ever top ten in the X series. Seeing this, it was Sheldon Creed, the first lap car. We had twenty-five drivers finish on the lead lap. That will end it for for today's running of the Xfinity Winter Classic. Join us back here tomorrow as the as G the Gen Six will take center stage for the Geico Winter Classic. This with this in the books, two Winter Classics left. Heading up to the probably the anticipated 200 lap main event. 200 lap main event of this week, the Coca Cola Winter Classic. Should be hosted by the next gen. We got one more out of that. We'll see you tomorrow for the Geico Winter Classic.